Welcome to another episode on Kobe MC Photography's channel. So, there's been a lot of discussion in regards to the crop modes on the Pentax K3 Mark III, uh, whether it makes a difference, does the amount of uh, burst length increase when you use the crop mode, uh, does the buffer change when you use the crop mode. Now that uh, firmware 1.70 has been released and we're now at version 1.80, there are two crop modes. There's 1.3 time crop and 1.7 time crop. So I'm going to actually uh, do a test. I'm going to shoot the full full frame, no crop, not full frame as in 35 millimeter full frame sensor, haha, <laughs> because it's an APS-C camera, but uh, the full image, um, you know, with no crop whatsoever. And then we'll do it again at 1.3 time crop and again at 1.7 time crop. And we'll actually see how long uh, the buffer actually holds up for. How many shots can you get before the buffer is filled? So let's just get on with it. What happens if you actually go to shoot in uh, raw here? So let's change this. Oh, I can't do that. Okay. So card slot sequence. We'll go to the main card. And let's go to okay, sequential use. Let's go into card one, so the high speed card, switch it to raw. Okay, so now raw, full image. Yep, full image. Here we go. You know what? I want the, I want I want this to be focused. Let's uh let's get this in focus here. Okay, it's in focus. All right, let's go. That's really bizarre. So it seems like it shoots a lot faster using just the one card instead of the two, but it's a much slower buffer. That's very interesting. Okay, let's go to 1.3 time crop. And it's slowed down. Not nearly as many shots. And now let's go to 1.7 time crop mode. Okay. All right, just to double check and verify, let's uh, switch this back to JPEG. Memory card options, yep, okay. Now let's go into the full image. Okay, now let's go into 1.3 time, wait for it to finish writing, I don't know, I'm wondering if I should even bother counting these, I mean the difference is pretty remarkable, here we go. Okay. And now let's go to 1.7 time. And see what happens. Let's make sure. Yeah, okay, it's in JPEG. And we're good. Okay, so that's really, really strange. There, there seems to be, I don't know, something going on here. Because uh, the first one, I mean, the buffers seem to be practically unlimited in regards to the 1.7 time crop mode uh, versus 1.3 time or even just the uh, full image uh, with no crop at all. But 
this is a remarkable amount of images. And uh, yeah, so shooting in JPEG will get you a ton more images per buffer filling than you would if you're shooting raw. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to count these out and uh, see how many it actually was. Okay, so I have the results here and uh, it's quite intriguing. So I had done a test of this before and my results were uh, 54 images uh, with no crop, 1.3 time crop was 49 images and the 1.7 time crop was 60 images. Um, and that was shooting uh, completely in JPEG. And for this test, uh, it looks like, so for RAW, I got 30 images out of uh, no crop, 26 images in 1.3 time crop, and 1.7 time crop resulted in 30 images just like no crop at all. Now where things got drastically different was JPEG. So JPEG, uh, full no crop, 79 images, 1.3 time crop, 69 images. And in the 1.7 time crop, it worked out to 120 images. So if you really need to shoot and run and gun, that kind of thing, then yes, I think uh, the crop mode, at least 1.7 time crop mode, which brings it down to, I believe, 9 megapixels, still decent for digital, uh, you know, digital uploads for social media and things like that. Um, you know, but if you want to get the most buffer that you can out of the camera, that would be the way to go. There just seems to be a lot of inconsistency in regards to the length of the buffer, but the capability is there. It just, I'm guessing, just depends on the conditions you're shooting in. Um, and just to let you know, uh, this whole video lighting and everything was done with WeLight, the sponsor of this video. They have fantastic lighting equipment. Um, it's a division of Viltrox, which is a well-known brand for the photographic community. Uh, these are all remote controlled. Uh, you know, it, it, one of the lights sticks on to uh, sticks on with magnets to anything metallic. It's got two screw holes on each side for quarter-inch screw thread, so you can mount it to a tripod or a light stand, anything like that. They're really, really fantastic. They're reliable. The batteries last a uh, fair amount, about an hour at full max power. Uh, you know, and they're just very, very cool. So if you are looking for lighting, even if it's something for light painting, I do suggest you do check these out. Uh, really, really great quality. And yeah, they, they, they work perfectly fine. Uh, I love them. They're fantastic. So anyway, that's going to conclude this video. If you like the video, leave a like. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Always helps out. If you want to support the channel, that info is down at the bottom of the description. And if you have any questions or comments, Feel free to leave them down below, and that's it. You will see me on my next video. I'm out.